Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll go over torque wrenches. If you don't know what a torque wrench is or you have no idea how to use one, stick around. I'm going to review two affordable torque wrenches by NPUDS. I'll also compare their accuracy to my Snap-on and Mac torque wrenches, which cost quite a bit more. I think you'll be surprised with what I found. I'll start my review with the half inch drive torque wrench kit. This kit is designed for torquing wheels. It includes a 21, 19, and a 17 millimeter wheel socket. It also includes a five inch extension and a half inch to three eighths reducer, all packed in a case. I'll start with an accuracy test. I just rotated my tires and they're ready to be torqued to 80 foot pounds. I'll torque the front tire with the Mac torque wrench and the rear tire with the Anpuds torque wrench. Once they're torqued, I'll take my Mac and I'll go to the rear and I'll take my Anpuds and I'll go to the front and we'll see what the difference is. All right, so when you torque wheels, you want to do it in a star pattern. So let's go ahead and torque these up to 80 foot pounds. One, and then we'll come over here. Two, come over here, three, that one, and then four, and then we'll come down here. And by the way, Anpuds sent me these torque wrenches to do a review. I'm not getting paid for this. The only reason that I agreed to do this review is because I wanted to get you guys some option for a torque wrench. So in 2024, I'll be giving you guys torque specs for everything that we do repairs on. Make sure you subscribe because I got some big plans in 2024. Now I'll use amp puds to torque this wheel, same thing, star pattern, 80 foot pounds, and then I'll use my Mac to go over it to see if I get any more turns out of it. Two, three, four, five. Now let's get our Mac and let's check it. I'm gonna watch to see if this turns any. Nope. Nope. That's good. That's good. Okay, looks good. I just torqued my rear wheel with Ampud's half inch drive torque wrench. Then I torqued it again using my Mac Tools torque wrench to see if they were at the same torque of 80 foot pounds. And it was. Now I'm going to do the same check to my front wheel using Anpud's torque wrench. But before I do, let me explain why torquing your wheels is such a big deal. If your wheels aren't tight enough, obviously they're going to loosen up. If they're too tight, the lugs can actually stretch, causing the lug nuts to loosen up or the lugs to even break. If you have uneven wheel torque, this can cause your rotors to warp causing pulsation when you apply the brakes. This happens due to the constant heating and cooling of your brake rotors when your brakes are applied. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute and subscribe to my channel. I make automotive how-to videos and would really appreciate your support. Now, back to the video. All right, so let's do this again. I'm gonna just kind of put my finger here to see if it moves any. Good. 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 There we go. So these both checked out accurate. The half inch drive torque wrench, it's got a range of 10 foot pounds to 170. And if you needed to set it up, all you do 
is here's the foot pound range and then here's the newton meter range and the newton meter range goes from 13.6 to 230 and then so you just pull the collar down and then you would just twist it to where you need it to go here and let's say we wanted to go to 40 you would look at that line right there and line up the zero and that would be 40. 41 would be there 42 would be there so that's how torque wrenches work the 3 8 torque wrench so on this one it has a range of 5 to 45 foot pounds and then if you go to newton meters it's 6.8 to 61 it sets up exactly the same way and let's go check this for accuracy the low range torque wrench works with anything that requires 5 to 45 foot pounds that's going to be perfect for my spark plugs i just got them in and i need to torque them the torque specification for the spark plugs on this engine is 13 foot pounds too loose and the plugs could blow right out of the head causing cylinder damage too tight and it could crack a plug or even worse strip the threads out of the head all right those are done I need to get these coils in and then tighten down these nuts to specification and then we're just about done so remember I said everything has a torque spec these here have a torque spec of 8.7 so on my torque wrench so there's 7.5 there's 8.5 and there's about 8.75 that's what we're going to torque them at There's one, there's two, three, four, and I'm done. I have my spark plugs torqued and my coils. You should also be using this anytime you change your oil for the drain plug. If your car has a drain plug for the transmission, that should also be torqued. I've been using these torque wrenches for a couple of weeks now and they've been working flawless. I don't know their longevity, but I'll continue to use these in my videos and I'll give you some updates. I'll leave a link in the description of where to purchase these. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.